Oh, look at her. Look at her. Are you the star? Are you the star? What's your favorite book? What's your favorite book, huh? <laughs> look at her. Oh, Ast no. Astrid don't know how to read. <laughs> Astrid read War and Peace. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I actually have a guest with me and it's my boyfriend Nolan. Hi. So if you follow me on my bookstagram currently dot overbooked, I actually asked you guys what kind of TBR video I should do this month and my boyfriend picks my TBR one by a landslide. So that is why Nolan is here. So I have quite a bit of books for Nolan to pick from. I've separated them into like five different rounds and each round has a theme. So well, let's get started. So the first round has the theme of workplace romances. So these are all workplace romances. And okay. I'm going to give you a synopsis of each one. So first we have Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. So this is about two doctors and they work together and they don't like each other. Mm. And he kind of comes off, like the main guy kind of comes off standoffish, like grumpy almost, but really he's just dealing with like a lot of anxiety. So that's yours truly. Okay, the next book we have is The Fake Mate by Lana Ferguson. This is a workplace romance, obviously, and it's about two doctors again. They're so busy with their residency, like as doctors, or they're about to become doctors, that they don't have any time to date. Mm. So they decide to fake date each other. And I saw something online that this actually is like a werewolf romance. Yeah, because it says, when love is a whole different animal, and then mate because you're an animal. So it might also be a werewolf romance. Who knows? All right. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know if people were like, just like trolling or if it was like actually a werewolf romance, but, <laughs> but if I read it, I guess I'll find out. <laughs> And the last book for this category is The Love Interest by Claire Gilmore. This is a workplace romance again, and it's rivals to lovers. They don't get along because they were both up for the same job, and he ended up getting the job. And so there's some resentment there. But now they're working at the same company, and they are forced to collaborate on a future project. So they're kind of reluctant allies in a way because they're forced to be with each other, like hang out with one another. So, which one do you think you're going with? I think I'm going to pick Yours Truly okay. by Abby Jimenez. And is there like a reason why? Um, there's a dog on the cover. <laughs> there is a dog. There's a <laughs> so. little Bernice. That's a Bernice Mountain dog, yeah. So was all like the synopsis stuff just like not useful because you um, knew you were going to pick this one? No, I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> with the thought of the whole werewolf thing uh so that's why i did not choose uh the fake mate and on the love interest i just wasn't very interested in the topic about it mm, okay so the first book i'm going to be reading in march is yours truly by abby jimenez so for this next round the theme is single dad and I only have two books because these are the only two books on my physical TBR that have this trope. So the first one is The Nanny by Lana Ferguson. And this is a single dad trope. And she has an OnlyFans. And he's like the top contributor to her OnlyFans. Hey, it's fine. He's a single dad. He's a single dad. Yeah, he's not, not like he's cheating on anybody. But he doesn't know that it's her OnlyFans account when he hires her because it's anonymous. Mm. And then the second book we have is Heartless. Again, this is single dad, also a nanny trope. So I guess it's they're both single dad with, and they give the nanny. But this is a small town cowboy romance. He owns a ranch with mm. his family, like it's a family business. Okay. And yeah, he's a cowboy. So out of these two books, which one are you leaning towards? I think personally, I'm leaning towards The Nanny, mainly because I'm interested to hear from Grace later on how this book goes and what happens in it. Uh, yeah, so my pick is The Nanny. Why not Why not Heartless? I'm not a huge fan of the small town trope. Uh, I think it's a little overdone. Oh. Hot take. Oh, tea. Hot take. Drama. <laughs> You've heard it here, folks. Nolan thinks the small town trope is overdone. Overdone. <laughs> <laughs> 
So for this third round, you're really gonna like this, okay? okay. Because oh. they're all sports romances, and Ooh. you yourself were an athlete I back was. in the day. I was. So, so the first book we have is *The Right Move* by Liz Tom Ford. This is the second book in the Windy City series. It takes place in Chicago. It's about the brother of the main girl from the first book, and he is a professional basketball player. And basically, her best friend ends up moving in with him temporarily because she went through nasty breakup her boyfriend cheated on her she has no place to stay so it's best friend's brother forced proximity and then it's a sports romance okay. so that's the right move i have a feeling you're gonna end up picking this one <laughs> <laughs> So it's Culty by Mariana Zapata. This has been on my physical TBR for quite some time. This is a soccer romance and that is Nolan's favorite sport. So basically the girl plays soccer and her new coach is this like famous soccer player that she used to have a crush on when she was a kid. So it's a coach player relationship, I guess, like that kind of trope. And it's also age gap because he's probably quite a bit older than her. And it's a soccer romance. And then knowing Mariana Zapata, because she is the queen of slow burn romances, this is a slow burn romance. And then the third book we have is Unravel Me by Becca Mack. This is the third book in the Playing for Keep series. It is a mm -hmm. hockey romance. I honestly don't know much about this book, but I've read the other two. Mm -hmm. And it's about this guy, and he just got out of a really toxic relationship with his, like, long-term girlfriend. And you see him in, like, both books, like, being on and off with his girlfriend. She's, like, crazy. And so it's about him finding love, finally, and finding a healthy relationship. Good for him. So out of these three... Which one do you think you're going to pick? Um, surprise pick. I'm going to go with Unravel Me. Oh, wow. Why? Um, I'm a fan of hockey, too. I don't watch it all the time, but uh, I like it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's nice that he's finding love finally. Oh. Uh, I think that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. This one seemed fine, but the coach player dynamic is a bit weird. I know, I didn't know that when I first <laughs> bought it. I just knew that it was a soccer romance. And I feel like there aren't a lot of soccer romances out there. So it was slim pickings. It's fair. Everyone's in love with like the hockey romances, to be fair. That's like the it's it understandable. Thing. Yeah. So we're on the second to last round, the fourth round. The category for this round is young adult romances. So these are YA. I think that means it's like 14 and up. Some of them are 16 okay. plus though, so. So the first book we have is Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. This is about Liz and Wes, their neighbors, and they don't really get along. Mm -hmm. And basically he agrees to start fake dating her so his friend will eventually like get jealous and date her potentially. But obviously they end up falling for each other. So that's better than the movies. And there's a lot of like rom-com references in this book. Okay. So the second book we have is also by Lynn Painter and that is Betting on You. And basically these two characters, they just keep like running into each other. Like they just have this like invisible string mm. tying to one another. And, and so they first meet like on a plane, like on a flight going somewhere and they end up sitting next to each other or something. And then they end up working at the same movie theater cause he ends up moving to where she lives. It's like this whole thing. Mm. And so that is betting on you. This is also her newest release. Okay. So it's a pretty new book. And then the last book we have is Keeping 13 by Chloe Walsh. This is the second book of the Boys of Tommen series. I actually just finished Binding 13. And it's a rugby romance. Oh. <laughs> and he got his injury. Yeah, I've, I know about the injury. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, it's the second book. It's still about them. And the first book actually ended on this, like, really big cliffhanger. So that's really all I know about this book. It's hard to tell what a second book in a series is about because you don't want to do spoilers. Okay. Which one are you feeling? I think out of the three... Um, betting on you seems the coolest to me. Oh, I like yeah? that they keep meeting each other. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like the premise of the book. It seems very wholesome. Okay, betting on you was his pick, everyone. So we're on our final round. Are you sad that the video is coming I'm to a close? Super sad. <laughs> You're I'm, so sad. I'm distraught, even. <laughs> okay, so this is our fantasy round. Oh. 
The first book we have is Dance of Thieves. This is part of a duology and really the only thing I know is that it's a band of like outlaws. So it's like found family and they just get into some hijinks. And then the second book we have is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas. This is part of the Throne of Glass series. This is actually the prequel. I'm reading Assassin's Blade first. I don't want to hear anything about it in the comments about, oh, you need to read Throne of Glass first. Well, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> it's like a big thing in the community, like the reading order, because there's different ways you can read everything. So there's a lot of dispute going about on, in the book community. Okay. It's controversial. So this is the first book in the series. <laughs> this is gonna be the first book of the series that I'm gonna read. Basically, the girl is like an assassin and something happens to her and she wants to go like basically get revenge and this is her origin story. So this is like what takes place before the series starts, if that makes sense. Okay. And then the last book we have is Ruthless Vows by Rebecca Ross. This is the second book to Divine Rivals, which was about like a magical typewriter. And these two people, they anonymously correspond with one another, but they don't know that they're corresponding with one another. Like that's literally the definition of anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> But they work together at the same newspaper company and they don't get along because they're constantly trying to compete with one another. But then they have this like friendship between each other, but they don't know that it's each other. And there's a war going on and it's just a whole big thing. So that's Ruthless Vows. So which one? Which one are you thinking? I'm thinking, huh. Is this one hard? It's a hard one. Really? I, it's, it's hard between two of them. The okay, which one, one? So I'm going to rule out one. Okay, which one is uh, it? I don't really... <gasps> I don't really want to... Oh my gosh. ...hear about this one. I mean, Why? not necessarily don't want to hear about it. It's just out of the three, I'm just the least interested in it. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm going to get hate comments. You're going to... Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> that, no. One, that one's very popular. My fault. <laughs> it's been in a TBR video twice so far, and twice it hasn't made the cut. When will it be its turn? <laughs> so it's between these two? It's between these two. Okay. Um, I like the premise of Ruthless Vows. Well, uh, it's the second book. So that was the... Okay. The synopsis I told you earlier, that's the premise of the, for the first book. But then a lot of stuff happens. Okay. Um, in the first one and so it's the it's the continuation it's like where they left off but i will say the last like a hundred pages of divine rivals went crazy went crazy it like, went popped crazy off. it popped off i'm kind of leaning towards dance, dance of, of thieves. thieves yeah uh just i mean personally i guess it's not me reading it <laughs> but when i'm inevitably hearing about it <laughs> yeah you'll uh, hear about it i will be most interested in this book uh, I think the premise is cool because they're a band of thieves. Yeah, they're a band they of do outlaws. They cool stuff and out the other outlaws. They... Okay, well, I'll be reading this in March as well. So those are all the books I'm going to be reading in March. I might do a designated reading vlog of me reading all of them, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Make sure to give this video... <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if Nolan should be in more of my videos. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot of things planned for this channel. I also have a bookstagram, currently dot for books. I post daily. I post book reviews, book reels, anything book related I post on there. I also have a monthly book club that you can join. All you have to do is subscribe to my Instagram page and that is it. I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>